boys and girls, parents, kids, and everybody alike. Today, we are going to be working in my son's room. I, uh, we've been in this house for be 11 years and a couple of months, and my wife is wanting to kind of change some things around a little, little bit. Uh, this is our son's room. We haven't really done anything in here. Uh, maybe four or five years ago, she wanted to do an accent wall with some stripes. She saw something on Pinterest, so I did some gray stripes. And now, you know, just kids being kids, the room just needs to be painted. You know, some holes need to be filled in where they screwed in, the walls need to be painted. She wanted me to repaint the room white, but if I paint a room, it's not gonna be white. I'm going to take down the bookshelves. Uh, we have, I think, three sets of laser, laser tag guns. And then we have a bunch of Nerf guns. So I think I'm gonna end up doing like a four by eight a uh, pegboard here so we can hang up all the laser tag guns and the nerf guns on this wall and then uh probably going to rearrange uh some furniture one good thing about these uh, bookshelves is that i can lift them right off like so and drop all the books everywhere and for hanging stuff like this i use monkey hooks and they come right off the wall like so and they use uh, you know these hooks that go on the wall to hook up it doesn't go anywhere i think these are 15 i think they have 15 pound rated ones and 30 pound rated ones i think i use the 15 pound ones for this they leave little bitty holes so once i take all these out um, i'm going to fill all the the holes in take all the electrical plates off and while that stuff is drying i may go ahead and redo all of the trim because it takes that stuff a while for it to dry so i gotta you know fill in all these holes and everything and i have not seen this room this empty since before i was i was born so i went around pulled off all the outlet covers taped up all the outlets uh had a couple of holes and i filled those in with where is it at it goes on pink and it turns white once it's dry. Uh, this stuff right here, dry deck. So when you put it on, it's pink. And when it turns white, you know it's ready to paint. So you really can't see it, but all the holes I filled are white and good to go. I think with this wall, I don't know if y'all can see that dirt and stuff, but with this wall being the dirtiest, I think I'm going to start on this wall and probably the hardest because they have a lot of cutting to do and normally so i hate i i hate pain i hate pain a lot and i kind of suck at it uh, but i can do it i'm going to set y'all up somewhere in the room uh and just do like a really fast time lapse more than likely and try to knock this room out
and here we are next day it got dark last night and the lighting but the room, the agreement frame looks good. And I was really, really surprised at how well that it covered up the stripes. I was really worried that the stripes that you, that you were going to be able to see like a different color because of the stripes, and you can't. The only thing that you can see is like the line of where the paint is just a little bit higher so if you do have lights or like a design on the walls before you paint you probably take like a little bit of sandpaper and just sand down the edge to make sure that it's smooth but i'm really 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 happy that the back wall is all one color like i said you really don't even pay any attention to it you can you can really only see like the rest of them aren't really all that notable. So I am thrilled with the color. We no longer have this dirty wall here. At least it's clean for now. I had a talk with my son yesterday when he got home from school to keep his hand off the wall because everything is nice and clean. So now I am going to put the TV back, put the TV back on the wall and get all that stuff put back up. Uh, figure out with my wife where the furniture placement is going to be and I see that his bed lights his bed underglow has came loose I'm gonna get some zip ties to fix all that stuff up I'm going to get it changed and then I'm going to figure out which one of these walls that the pegboard is going to be on for the nerf guns and for the laser tag guns uh, Lowe's has a four foot by eight foot piece for like 20 bucks which is what i use in my garage for hanging tools and miscellaneous junk and stuff so for all the nerf gun and laser tag gun we have six laser tag guns and a bunch of nerf guns i'm probably going to end up using the entire four by eight sheet but that's gonna take up a lot of space so i'm gonna have to get it place them out and see if I need the whole sheet or if I can cut it down a little bit. But you know, he doesn't have really any artwork in his room. So his laser tag Nerf gun pegboard holder is going to be probably like the main centerpiece of the room. So when I get the room all set up and start working on the toy gun holder, I shall be. So it seems like I lost my footage, but here we have a picture of how the room looked before it was painted. And then here we have a picture of after it was painted with everything in the room. Uh, with this video, I'm going to leave it to just the painting of the room. And on the next video, uh, I will do how I did the Nerf gun pegboard on his wall. So that will be the next video. Stay tuned to it. Thank you so much. All you painters, leave your suggestions to help the viewers because I suck at it. And we will see you all in the next one.